Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Hello guys, hello. hello. How are you doing? I driving for my oh. office. Oh, okay. Don't teach me. You're driving to your office? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it. But thank you so much. That is for English. That is for being. Hi guys, how are you? How is your Tuesday going? ¿Cómo les está yendo en el mar? Parking now, everything good. Give me one second, please. Hold up. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, thank you. Okay, here we are. Guys, ¿me escuchan echo? Do you hear me with some echo or is that fine? With echo. Se escucha, no se escucha, o si se escucha eco. Okay, let me just put my, my phone away. Okay, so thanks everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos today. We have session number uh, four today, right? So we're having our class number four. That means que la unidad número uno la vamos a terminar este día jueves. That is going to be the first one. Um, this unit has been very interesting porque estamos practicando cómo uh, tener una... Um, entrevista, right? Like how to talk or what type of, cómo responder a esas preguntas difíciles, like tell me about yourself, cuénteme las cosas positivas, tell me about eh, cuánto quiere ganar, you know, <laughs> and things like those. So um, today we are going to continue with this. Vamos a agregar nuevas preguntas. We are going to add new information, new vocabulary too, so we can be ready for that. Gracias, Pedrina. Gracias por acompañarnos too. And uh, me imagino, acá ha estado lloviendo también bastante fuerte, but ha cesado un poco. So, espero que todos estén en la casa, except eh, Marvin, que creo que iba en camino. But I'm, I'm happy to see the rest of you are right there. So nice. Antes de iniciar la clase, as every single day, vamos a tomar asistencia. So, si me ayudan con su camarita, that would be wonderful. Y me regalan confirmación también que están ahí, right? Give me some confirmation. Bear with me. Hi, Eduardo. <laughs> okay. I'm happy to see you there. Hey, Richard. I guess Rene oh, is on it. his Hello. way to work. Hello. Hi, Karina. Good evening. Good evening. Richard, your hair looks longer or that's only me? Give me just a second. Okay, Karina, you are on your way. Okay, so me regalan confirmación, porfa, Ana Delmi. Anita, todavía no. Brian. Anthony, Danis, <clears throat> gracias. Dolores, hola Dolores, hello. Hi, hello, Brian. I'm happy to see you. Thank you so much. Thank Espero you. Espero que esté mejor, Miss. Hope you feel better. Eduardo, ah, me <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. But you will get better, so no worries. Me regala confirmación, por favor, Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Guadalupe. Lupita. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Uh, Jackie. Jocelyn. Present. Gracias, Miss. Ignacio. 
Okay. Norbert. Present teacher. Thank you. Mr. Bonilla, lo escuchas un minutito. Eh, Marvin López. Present. Gracias. Thank you so much. Uy, be careful. <laughs> I guess you're in a motorcycle, right? So be careful, please. Eh, okay. Marvin. I mean, Clary. Clary, Clary. Hello, Miss. There Hello. you go. Okay. I confused you for a moment. <laughs> I'm yes. doing great. I'm doing just fine. Thanks a lot for joining. Moses. Thank you. Nelson. Pedrina. Pre present teacher. Thank you. Rene. Present. Present. Thank you so much. Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Carlos. Yeah, Carlos, hace un momento. There we go. Thank you so much. Claudia. Present teacher. Hello, Miss. Good evening. And Good evening. Karina. Present teacher. There we go. Present Thank teacher, you. por si ya me había hablado. Ooh, yeah, I got you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, Richard, I got you. <laughs> no worries. So thank you. Yeah, I know you're there. Oh, Marvin just acá. Hi, Marvin. Good evening. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. What Marvin? No, los dos. <laughs> So I was just updating. Marvin, I'm just missing Jackie. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Yeah, I missed you at the very beginning. So I was like, Jackie, it's weird. <laughs> okay, she's not there. Okay, everybody. So let's get started. Okay, with today's class, vamos a practicar un poquito más las preguntas de... Job interview, vamos a revisar simple past tense y vocabulary related to jobs. Um, el día de ahora, today is Tuesday the 24th. So, Danis, me regalo un par de minutitos at the end of the class, please. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Si, sí, sí, you know, you have, you have like an inconvenience, solo me, me avisa, you let me know, para poder hacer el cambio. No, no, no. Okay. no. Cool, cool, cool. No worries, no worries then. No worries. So to get started today, we are going to check some vocabulary. But first, remind me, please. Ayúdenme con el vocabulario que hemos visto about job interviews. ¿De qué palabras se recuerdan? What do you remember? Talking about jobs. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, could you repeat? Duties. Okay, duties, yes, we checked that yesterday. It's cierto, cierto, okay? Duties, ¿qué más? Wrong. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más, guys? What do you remember? Four t -shirt. Can you repeat? Give me one second. No sé si me Okay, let me see if it's going to log out. Give me one second. Okay, I use it. Okay, so yeah, which were the words that you remember? Duties, what else? It. Okay, resign, quit. Okay, we checked quit yesterday. Quit. Quit. Mm -hmm. Hire. Hire, okay, ¿qué más? Pinza. Ajá. What other word do you remember? For example, contratar, how do we say contratar? Hire. Hire, okay, despedir. Hire. Hire, okay, firmar. Sí. 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 Sign, okay, sign. Sí. Solo con I, pero bien, you got the word. What about renunciar? Uh, Richard nos mencionó una que es quit y la otra es? Quit. 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 Quit.
Resign. Resign, perfect, Resign. exactly. If I want to say, yo trabajo por cuenta propia, what is that? Freelance. Freelance, exactly, that's freelance. And or if I want self, to say... Or self-employed. Self-employed. Y marcar, como yo marco, yo entro, marco mi hora de entrada, that's... Clocking. Clocking, very good, okay. exactly, exactly, that's clocking. Today, vamos a revisar some other words that can help us a lot. La primera, vamos pronunciándolas juntos, please. The first one is availability. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Availability. What is your availability? Yeah. So what is your availability? ¿Cuál es su disponibilidad? When we are talking about a schedule, what's your availability? All right. So how do I say yo soy disponible entonces? How can I say I mean, de trabajo, right? <laughs> How can I say that? Vamos a usar la misma palabra, avail, pero la voy a cambiar un poquito. And that becomes available. So availability, let me make it here. Give me one second. So we have availability. But if I want to say disponible, I can use the word. I was going to write. So you can write available. That is the one. So availability. But if you're talking about yourself, I am available. So, vamos a repetir one more time. Availability. Availability. Available. 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 Mm -hmm. available. So, if I ask you, hey, guys, who is available on Saturday? Como quien está libre. Who is available on Saturday at 2 p.m.? Yeah. Okay, exactly. I am. Yeah. So, who is available? Yeah. Quién está libre, quién está disponible, right? Who is ready, you know, to do something? So availability and available. The second one, motivation. You know what that is. So I'm not going to stop much. Motivation. Uh, the motivation. next one, flexibility. Flexibility. Yes. The next one, night shift. Night, night shift. Night shift. Night shift. Night shift. 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 Mm -hmm. Night shift. Night shift. Night shift. So, what is your favorite uh, shift? Do, does your company have different shifts? For example, in, in my case, there are two shifts. Inglés Corporativo has a shift in the morning from 6 to 8. Also, classes from 6 to 8 p.m. And from 8 to 10. Oh, there are three shifts. Yeah. 6, 8, and 8, 10. What about in your case? Does your company have shift? Hay como así rot turnos rotativos, or do you have shift? ¿Tienen turnos? No. 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 Okay, but, but imagine, imagine that you apply for a company que ofrezca turnos de madrugada, for example. So that would be a morning shift. Yes. Si solo trabajan en la tarde, wow. that's an afternoon shift, yeah? Y si solo trabajan en la noche, yeah. that is a night shift. So right now, for example, in my case, this is my night shift, <laughs> okay? Because yeah. I work at night, so night shift, right? Um, one of the companies that I know that work in, in shift is, for example, Ironman, or Ironman, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that is the company they have people early morning or late at night, so shift, right? Um, do you have a favorite? Normally in companies, ellos les preguntan, are you available at night, right? So can you work yes. at night? So that is a night shift. Mm -hmm. okay. The other one is CV, like Spanish, right? CV or resume. So we can have a resume or a CV. Es lo mismo, hoja de vida. So, of course, vamos a intentar también crear nuestro CV. We are going to try to make our CV in English. That would be a very nice exercise, I have to say. So, CV or resume. Um, other one is employee benefits. Employee benefits. What are your benefits in the company? Do you have any benefit? Yes. Hi, Ignacia, good evening. Yeah, what are the employee benefits you have? Um, Tell me some. Give me some examples of your employee benefits. For example, bonus. 
Um, what else are you? For example? Bonus. Okay, so you have bonus, all right. What else? Bonus. We have insurance, right? Yes. As an employee, we have insurance. Yes. We have medical insurance, life insurance, Yes. Tienen otro. Do you have another type of insurance? Teacher. Um, the social security, for example. Mm -hmm. so, so that would be a medical insurance. So medical insurance is el is, y AFP would be life insurance, right? Yeah. Some other companies ofrecen seguro dental. So that would be a dental insurance, right? Do you have any other insurance? Tienen más seguros? No, not, not many. Or other benefits? Do you have any other benefit? Extra vacation, days oh. off, weekends off. Do you oh, have weekends oh, off? Extra. OT, yes. mm -hmm. OT, exactly. My day off yeah. for birthday. Uh -huh, for the maternity leave, uh -huh, for women yeah. or fathers, paternal extra, leave. Extra work. <laughs> extra. Uh -huh, yeah. No, but that is extra money. <laughs> oh, extra yeah. money too. Not exactly yeah. like a benefit. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but let's call it that way. Study. Oh, okay. Yeah. The chance to study. Some companies are very nice. E, e incluso les pagan como una yes. porción, right? A percentage oh, to study. Oh. Ajá, uh -huh. o en este yeah. caso, through Instafor es una scholarship, es una beca completa. It's a scholarship. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. De lo contrario, yes, you'll have to pay. Uh, uh -huh. University. University, ok. Yeah. No, le pagaron yes. la universidad. Teacher. ¿Por qué? Uh, el master. No. Teacher. El master. Yes. Por ejemplo, en. In the government. Oh, yeah. The employees have a time for a study in the oh. two, two, hours, two hours two hours per day. Yeah. Two hours per day. Nice, nice. Yeah. No, but, but also, but, but not only with the government, you know, because eh, con support, algunas empresas tienen ese espacio. De si ustedes tienen clases, por ejemplo, antes que eran presenciales, <laughs> los dejaban entrar 15 minutes late, por ejemplo, porque yeah, estaban en so, clases. So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Some companies are very flexible with that. So we have yeah. employee benefits. Eh, Ignacio says, maybe time to study. En Danis, no sabía que una empresa puede pagar, pagar un máster o una carrera. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So money to study, okay, or a scholarship. Yes. Eh, we, then we have references, right? Uh, like the people who uh, talk good about you, previous experience and goal. That is part of the things that we are going to be working today with. So let's repeat, right? One more time. Availability. 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 Okay. Availability. Yes. Available. 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 Motivation. 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 You can say two ways, moti or mori. Motivation, motivation or motivation. Motivation. Mm -hmm. Flexibility. Flexibility. Shift. 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 Exactly. Night shift. Night shift. What is night shift? Um, a shift. A shift is on. I forgot it. <laughs> Se los acabo de decir and suddenly my mind went blank. No, es un turno. Mm -hmm. So a shift es el turno. Uh, you can work morning, afternoon, and night. Mm -hmm. So shift, in, in this case, it's night shift, que son nuestras clases, night shift. Um, CV or resume, right? Resume, resume. Resume. Mm -hmm. Or CV, employee benefits. Employee benefits. Employee. Employee benefits. Employee, employee benefits. Employee benefits. Mm -hmm. References. 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 Previous. 
previous previous experience goal experience goal goal okay and let's practice this word that is insurance goal. so let's repeat this one that is insurance teacher goal. goal is like the football for example mm, not in this case a goal is una meta so normally in companies they ask you, ¿cuál es su meta en la vida? <laughs> What's go your goal in life? So what do you want to do? What is your goal in five years? Mm -hmm. So ¿qué quiere lograr? Right? What you want to get? Okay. Now taking a look into this vocabulary, también lo de la semana anterior. Let's complete the following exercise that we have right here with vocabulary. It says fill in the blanks with the most appropriate word. For example. A formal meeting you have with somebody for getting a job. ¿Cómo se llama? How do you call that? Number one, a formal, a formal meeting you have with someone when you get a job. What is this? Interview. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is an interview. Number two, what formal agreement is signed when a candidate is a candidate is selected what is this document called how do you call when you sign a document contract, contract. exactly contract. that is a contract mm -hmm. <coughs> number three an interview an interviewer may ask for a candidate which is also when where and what time she may be present. What is that? An interviewer may ask for candidates. When, where, and what time? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? For example, they ask you, um, ¿A qué hora es puede? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? That has a name. Um, night shift. Mm, uh, available. Mm -hmm, exactly. That is the availability. Available. So an interviewer uh, may ask for a candidate availability. That is when, where, and what time. So it's very common they ask you, um, what is your availability, right? Oh, so they are asking number one, a qué horas puede trabajar, right? Or where, or when you can work. So availability. Number four, working during night is also known as working in shift. Night shift. Night shift. Night shift. Exactly, that is the night shift. 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 Mm -hmm. Shift. Shift. Creo que me faltó la F por ahí. <laughs> I was listening and I heard, uh, I didn't hear the F. Shift. Shift. Mm -hmm. Shift, exactly. <laughs> no, la costumbre, ya se va a acostumbrar. <laughs> Number five. Some companies offer like transportation, meal allowance. Oh, some companies le ofrecen el dinero para la comida, como viáticos y dinero, you know, for breakfast, lunch, etc. So, benefits. employee benefit. Employees benefit, exactly. Do you get transportation? ¿Les dan transporte? Do you get transportation? Yes. No? Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. And meal allowance, ¿les dan dinero para comida? Meal allowance. Yes. Carlos, do you get meal allowance? Yes, I have four dollars every day. <laughs> oh my God. I need that. <laughs> I need a job with that benefit to give me money for food. Okay. Any other company? ¿Qué otra empresa les ofrece meal allowance? In my company, mm -hmm. uh, all the Friday, the lunch is free. Ooh, nice. Is the food good? Is that delicious? Mm, so, so. Sure. <laughs> okay, now, but it's free. Sure. You don't have to cook. It's you free. don't have to take. Sure. Uh -huh, yeah. And it's free. Ignacio? Yeah, in our company, they bring to the employees to the attic for breakfast 
lunch and dinner maybe every day no only when they do out the outside the for for example san salvador mm -hmm. when they need to go out of the of the in like in the countryside so eso sería un allowance that would be like a, like a travel or la, or a meal allowance so an allowance is como dinero extra como una mesada let's call it that way or in this case that can be like a, what we call viaticos right or bonus for that. What about the, the rest of your companies? Did they, did they, do they offer gasoline tickets, gasoline discounts, any other type of uh, benefit? Employee benefit? No? Well, maybe you will remember later. <laughs> it's okay. That, that's really fine. We can check that later. Okay. Never, never. Okay, never, let's never. take a look at the following. Here we have filling a job application, provide a specific information related to work experience. Vamos a revisar un poquito preguntas, how to make questions in simple past and simple past in general. So I have Alan and Blanca. I need two volunteers. I, I think no escuchado. Okay, Richard, that's okay. Help me with Alan, please. And I'm going to... Okay, Clary, me ayuda con Blanca. Can you help me with Blanca? Okay, Miss. Thank you. Start. Whenever you're ready. What uh, is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. Mm -hmm. Uh, when were uh, you born? From? No. I was born on Ju July 1st. First. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you work? I work in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. Uh, uh, when did you work day there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have a university diploma? diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BPA. Do you have any chronic any. medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Exactly. I have hypertension. Okay. The person says. Okay. Um, I have a question for you. Are these questions okay? Are they normal? Do people ask these questions? Alguna vez les han preguntado, have they ever asked you, do you have a chronic medical condition? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yes. Or if you have a university diploma, is that a common question? Yes. Oh. No, no. Okay. Well, in this case, the person says, I have a BBA. So BBA is como una licenciatura in... Administración de Empresa, right? So that's a BBA. Um, that's a um, Bachelor in Business Administration. So remember that in English, no hay forma como decirle, decir licenciatura. So guys, si ustedes tienen licenciatura, you can say I major, you can say I have a diploma in, you can say I have a BA, right? Um, or buscamos el nombre específico de su carrera, but there is no way to say licenciatura. So that is one of the things. Okay, now these are the most common questions they ask. Where did you work? What did you do there? When did you work there? Uh, and then some very personal stuff, like if you have a diploma or if you have a chronic condition. First, Let's take a look at uh, some questions, right? And let's take a look at simple past in general para que luego podamos practicar a little bit. For example, number one, it says, put the verbs in the correct form of simple past tense. So I have number one, last year I, what is the past of spend? Spent. Mm -hmm. Spent. 
That would be spent. Exactly. What about number two? It'd be great. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Was somewhere. It was. It was it great. Was. It was great. Mm -hmm. What about number three? I traveled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I traveled, right, around by car with the friends. Solamente le agregamos R, yes. Number, uh, well, in the next one, we? Visited. Very good, we visited, exactly. Number four, in the evenings, we usually? When. When. Went to a pub. When. Mm -hmm. when. Yes, there we go. Number five, one night, we have even? Yeah. Learning. 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 El verbo, si, you got it? What about pronunciation? So, one night, oh. what in the evening, we usually, um, one night, we even. Yeah. yeah. So, un sonidito que le vamos a agregar. Learn. Learning. Learning. Uh -huh, okay. Learned. Exactly. Como una D al final. So, we learned. Mm hmm. What about number six? We we were mm -hmm. we were very lucky. Yes, we were. Okay. Number seven, no llovió. Como digo, no llovió. It didn't rain a lot. It didn't rain a lot. Very good. It didn't. Mm -hmm. No llovió. It didn't. It didn't. Number eight, but we saw. Oh. So, exactly. We saw beautiful rainbows. We saw. And the last one is una pregunta. The last is a question. Where? And? Ben, yeah. Are, but, where are? Um, ¿Y en pasado? Spend? Where, where you spent? Mm, close, pero me le falta algo todavía. Where, where, where were your last where, holiday? Where did you? Where did you, exactly. Where did you spend your last holiday? Mm -hmm. So that was a good question. Creo que um, Alex or René mentioned that. Sus voces se parecen, I don't know what. <laughs> So where was your last vacation, which is okay. Or in this case, where did you spend your last holiday, right? Where did you spend? So, vamos a hacer un par de preguntas. We are going to make some questions in past. Um, so think a little bit. Piensen en las preguntas que les han hecho in interviews, right? What type of additional questions do they ask you? Si la pregunta es en pasado. So we are going to use did for questions like that. Did you, right? Y el verbo nunca va a cambiar. The verb never changes. I'm going to write it here. No vamos a escribir el verbo en pasado, sino en la forma normal. So, si la pregunta es en presente, como do you. Um, so, I'm going to ask, do you. El verbo tampoco cambia, right? And then the verb. Si me preguntan de habilidades, no puedo mezclar. I cannot do this. Do you can? No puedo tener dos palabras juntas like this. Do you can? Nunca va a ser posible. So, si yo quiero preguntar de habilidades, como pregunto abilities. Can you? Right? And again, el verbo no cambia. So, the verb doesn't change in any of this. So, if I ask you, um, ¿puedes utilizar Excel? Excel. So, can you use Excel very well? Uh, puedes viajar fuera del país. Can you work outside the country? Um, if the question is like, ¿está disponible eh, para trabajar este fin de semana? Cambia un poquito and we are going to use like, are you? Are you available, for example? ¿Está disponible? Are you available for this weekend? Are you available to work on the weekends or to work at night? Right, etc. So, um, hagamos cinco preguntas. Let's make five questions de las que se recuerden que les han preguntado, right? So, they can be super close. Did you, do you, can you, are you? Five questions.
So if you have it ready, las pueden compartir en el chat. You can share them in the chat. Y así las vamos revisando también and we get more ideas. So I can check your questions too. Okay, so I'm reading your questions. Do you know about our company before? Can you speak other um, languages? Okay, they are really good questions. Those are the last. Teacher, teacher. Yes, Marvin? Uh, I can say, uh, can you wear the different schedule? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or are, do you have flexible schedule también? Uh, flexible? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, do you have a flexible schedule? Or what is your availability, right? ¿Cuál es su disponibilidad de tiempo? Mm -hmm. So, todas ellas funcionan. Yes. Or sometimes they ask you, um, do you have any problem working at night? Can you work at night? Can you work in the morning? So, they ask you very directly too. Okay. Or can you come at uh, six in the morning in the office? Podría preguntar a alguien eso? Yes, of course. For example, Miss? Can you use a computer? Okay. Yes, Miss? Uh, are you available the next holiday? Are you available? <laughs> To work, right? Are you yeah. available to work? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. To work. Do you work more time to work? Okay. okay. Um. Okay. Can you go for a college of the airport? Mm, what do you mean? Um, the co-worker or? Oh, like a colleague. Like, can you pick yes. somebody? Okay. Yes. Can you pick somebody? Mm -hmm. or technical or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be like pick, the recoger. Can you pick somebody? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, that, that could work. Can you work this Saturday? Okay. Um, girls, I have a question for you. Eh, Mabel, no sé si está por acá, or Brenda, or Pedrina. Uh, 
Girls, uh, how common is it that they ask you, do you like your boss? Yes. In your case, eh, ustedes preguntan eso. Do you ask for, do you like your boss? Preguntan sobre los jefes anteriores. Eh, yes. Yes. ¿Cómo lo preguntaría? How would you ask that? Este, bueno, yo en español yo digo. Teacher, podría decir así. Jefe anterior. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what was the question? ¿Qué tal? Eh, yo la hago, casi siempre la hago. ¿Qué tal fue su jefe anterior? Oh, how was your previous job? How was your previous boss? Luego le digo cómo se comportaba con usted. Oh, so you asked that question. Okay, interesting. Uh, Richard, no. Richard, no, no lo escucho, I cannot hear you. Teacher. Hi, Alex. I can say, what are you thinking about for your last work? Tell me, este, what is your experience? Podría preguntar a mí, ¿qué, qué piensa ¿Cómo? de su antiguo trabajo? What do you think what about you your think previous about? job? Uh -huh. About your previous, right? Previous. Yes, what do you think about your previous job? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Richard, pensé que me estaba preguntando, can you hear me? <laughs> Creo que era el ejemplo. Oh my God, okay. No, I thought, I thought you were talking, so that's why I was like, no. <laughs> okay, oh my God. Um, so I see your questions like, can you use a computer? Do you work more time today? Do you have WhatsApp? Can you work this Saturday? Why are you interested in, in this job and this company? Oh, okay. Uh, wh what were your responsibilities and your main activities? Okay. Oh, very interesting. Ooh, yes, Mabel. I have a question. Eh, um, también pregunto, um, Quiero ver si le puedo formular. Is, if, eh, if you had a bonus, and ya de ahí no sé cómo, cómo formular para decirle si, si tenía un esquema de bonificaciones y de qué dependía que se lo asignara o que se lo ganara para medir si alcanzaba objetivos o algo así. O sea, ah, ok. Tipo, Got pero no sé cómo formular eso. Le ayudo, no worries. Okay, so um, yes, we can ask that question. Uh, actually, do you have a bonus in previous uh -huh. job? Uh -huh. So, did you have a bonus? That is a very good question. And podemos preguntarle como de qué medida. Hay una palabra que es metrics. So, in uh -huh. which where which where the metrics? Como es, es de pasado, verdad? So. Did you have a bonus and which were the metrics? Uh -huh. Okay. That o can sea, be the Y lo otro es si, si, se lo, si lo obtenía o no, porque así uno sabe si, y cuánto era el promedio el que ascendía ya con mm -hmm. todo el bono, por ejemplo. Uh, did you always get your bonus? Uh, you so it could be this one. You could always get your bonus. Or oh, personas que tienen bono mensual. So that would be your monthly bonus, right? If you want to be more specific, do you always get your monthly bonus? Uh, Danis, you got a question about KPI. Mm, I would say, yeah, solo que, well, I don't know. Lo que pasa es que KPI es como bien técnico. Me imagino que para una oh. posición de gerente, like manager, okay. yeah, right, definitely. Pero si es una Pero posición... Pero es más por área que por persona. Okay. O por so, supuesto, puede ser, mm -hmm. pero, pero... I, I would say it's, it's a little bit technical, pero claro, depende de, de con quién, de a quién está entrevistando, right? It really depends. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. always get your monthly bonus? And I'm sorry, Mabel, ¿cuál era, cuál era la siguiente? Ah, sí, que, que sí. Bueno, quiero ver 
si se lo ganó o no. Quiero oh, ¿y cuánto, right? Que le, que le puse ahí. And you said cuánto. So, with cuánto you can ask, like, how much? Ah, y a cuánto ascendía su ingreso promedio mensual ya con todo eso, como para ver. How much ya, was? Encaminar a la expectativa salarial. Okay, how much was your monthly? Puedo utilizar la palabra salary, right? How much was your monthly salary? O utiliza esta palabra que es mucho más técnica, you know, uh, que es income. So income son los ingresos. How much was your income? Or how much was your monthly salary? So el salary es mucho más eh, común, right? Y más fácil de comprender. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Thank you. For example, in our company, that's that month the change the extra hours for bonus. Bonus for meter driller. What do you mean? Oh. What do you mean? You didn't have a bonus. Yeah, but the the team, the team driller, uh, drill, drilling machine. That mm -hmm. that month they owe to obtain the bonus for. Driller, for matter driller. Ah, so your bonus depends on how much you drilled. Yeah, but oh. for example, that, that this moment they have uh, the project for 300 meter. Okay, so yeah. every meter yeah. you get some money. Yeah, yeah, for each meter driller. Uh -huh. They have they bring the bonus for five dollars. Five dollars per $5 meter. Per meter, yeah. For everybody. For no different, different is different. For example, the manager. It's more ah oh, okay for managers the, for that oh the, okay. And you just the auxiliary, the auxiliary. 2.75, yeah, it's different, oh. different. Mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a different to change the, the hours, extras, extras mm -hmm. hours. They don't pay extra, but they pay per meter. Okay, yeah. but that is good because you always get money. <laughs> so I think it's okay. Uh -huh. that's, that's nice. Let me take a look at the rest of your questions. Pedrina says, what is your available time? Okay, available time, because that's okay. Yes, I can Marie? say, because do you want chain of work? Why? Example, why do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Why? No, why do you ah, want? Why? Uh -huh. why, yes, why? Why do you chain work? Yes, why do you want to change? Want? Or why do you want to move? Uh, why yeah. do you want to move of the work? Why do you want to move to this company? Why do you want to move to another company? Or why do you want to change jobs? So that's okay. For do you example, have a license? Uh -huh. What would you like to work here? Why would you like to work here? Exactly, exactly. Eh, veo una preguntita por ahí sobre available. So con el available vamos a utilizar are you. Como el ejemplo de acá, are you. Are you available? So ese es un adjetivo. Uh -huh. How much do you commit to the company? Ooh, <laughs> Pedrina, oh my God. <laughs> so those are very interesting questions and difficult. Can you use Excel? Do you have extra incentive? Okay, what do you do in your free time? Oh, okay, okay, sure. very interesting, yes? Um, otra pregunta is, what do you reason for, um, quiero preguntar por la que ya no está, en las, por lo menos en las últimas dos empresas que muestran su currículum. O sea, yo tengo el currículum y yo le pregunto, ah, ok, trabajo aquí, con mi tiempo, y luego, ¿por qué ella no está ahí? ¿Por qué no dejó para verificar si lo abandonó, si lo despidieron? Mm, o okay. si cambió por mejora o por algún tema personal, no sé. Yo, yeah, ok. Ok, very interesting and difficult questions. <laughs> so why, that would be, why, right? Why did you quit? 
remember that quit es como dejar o abandonar o ah, resign. Okay. Why did you quit your previous jobs? Why did okay. you quit your previous jobs? Okay, I think we have a lot of questions now. Very good job with your questions. So I think that you remember now. And nice, but now is the time for us to practice. <laughs> okay, so we have like a lot of questions here. And definitely, necesitamos organizar nuestras ideas to answer them. So, uh, for example, this is very interesting. Why did you quit your previous jobs, right? How much was your bonus or if you had a bonus? So, I have a couple of questions adicionales that we can practice. And before we move on, I'm going to stop presenting here. Before we move on, I want you to think and I want you to write the answer. Para la próxima, si le voy a pedir que escriban su respuesta, because we need to organize it a little bit. So, uh, quiero que vean la última. I want you to take a look at the last. Nobody mentioned it, but uh, si me la han preguntado muchas veces. Girls, maybe you can tell us. I'm asking Mabel, Pedrina, and, and, and Brenda because it's your area of experience. You know, this is your area of expertise. So tell me about a problem at work and how you solved it. Pregunten esto. Is this very common? Que le describan la like, a situation you have. Eh, Pedrina, Mabel, do you ask this? Or, or any tip, algún tip que tengan cómo responderla? ¿O que se pregunte cuál? La número nueve, de las going number nine. Tell ah. me about a problem at work and how you solve it. Preguntan esto, is this very common to ask? Sobre una situación that you had in your job? De cómo resuelve. Mm -hmm. I mean, in English... En inglés sí pregunta mucho esto. ¿En in Spanish? Se pregunta también. Yes. Lo preguntan también. Ok. Ok. Any, any recommendation? ¿Alguna recomendación que you have? Sea sincero. <laughs> Just be honest. <laughs> Do you have any recommendation for these guys? Like whenever we apply for a job interview? Yesterday, for example, Pedrina eh, mencionaba algo bien interesante. They ask about responsibilities, right? Si tiene responsibilities or not, or something like that. Um, do you have like any, any, any tip? Sobre alguna de ellas? Or no, not really. Just be honest. <laughs> Okay, okay, that, that's just fine. So, vamos a trabajar un poquito. We are going to work on the last one that is number nine. It says, tell me about a problem and work at work and how you solve it. So, um, got it, Pedrino, no worries. So, les voy a dar ahorita cinco minutos. I will give you exactly five minutes para que puedan escribir una breve descripción de una situación que tuvieron. Any situation you had at work y cómo lo solucionaron. Why am I bringing this topic? Because in English, mmm, cuando aplicamos a una, eh, you know, to a company, es bien importante comunicarse. So, más que la experiencia, they also take into account si se pueden comunicar. Y vamos a usar, pues, simple past, you know. <laughs> so, I'll give you exactly five minutes. Piensen en una situación que fue a little complicated, or tal vez no, not too much complicated, pero intentemos describirla. Try to describe it, y luego vamos a practicar. Then we will practice. So, cinco minutos. You got five minutes. Si tienen dudas, how to say something, you can write it in the chat, y lo revisamos juntos, or you tell me in Spanish, y lo revisamos juntos, right? Por ahorita, just number nine.
Hello. Hello, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hello, hello. So, estamos escribiendo ahorita nuestra respuesta. We are writing our answer for the question, what is a difficult or a problem that you had in the past y cómo lo solucionaron, right? How you solved it. Mm -hmm. So, por eso es que estamos calladitos. <laughs> no es porque se haya salido o, o porque le haya sacado el internet. También me están fallando. <laughs> le, okay, le comparto la pregunta. Let me share the question again. Es la última. Tell me about a problem at work and how you solved it. So, puede tomar notas como de qué le pasó, what happened at work, Cómo lo solucionó, right? How you solved it? Thank you, teacher. Y todo en pasado. Everything in past. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Teacher, in the answer, we write to chat or? You can write it. Por supuesto, nos la pueden compartir in the, in the chat. Eh, así la revisamos, you know. Or the, si tienen preguntas, let me know. Y les ayudo a armarla. I can help you, you know, putting the ideas in order. Ya la vamos a practicar. Así que right now pueden escribir. Just okay. write it down. Write it down. Because for me only I have a one problem, no more. Oh, okay. Como una situación, right? Not, ex not exactly like a problem, problem, but una situación, it's any a, situation. It's a, it's a little, for example, <laughs> you know, in Anda, I, we, we work at the eight, to 4, 8 a.m. for to 4 p.m. In a new company, the hour is 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. It is only different the time. It's only. Amen. Yeah, pero eso no sería, um, I mean, up. Problem is más como una situación, algo que le pasó en el trabajo, pero que usted lo solucionó, right? Something you solved. For example, in my case, I remember one day I lost a lot of the lot of picture of my telephone. And I remember I didn't communicate with my no me podía comunicar. I didn't communicate with the customer, eh, como, 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 como sería de, de... I couldn't contact, uh -huh. I couldn't contact I, the customer. I, I couldn't contact the, the, the customer, but then I, 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 I could communicate and I go, I, and I, I went his work and I went his work and I take the, the picture and I take, I took, sorry, I took the picture and I can do, I can, I, no pude hacer, I couldn't, you couldn't, I couldn't do, I could, I could do my, my report. But it's very difficult oh. because I lost the uh, maybe um uh, thirteen photo photograms pictures, sorry. Había perdido como 40 fotos. No. Yeah. Oh wow, that, that's a that's a difficult thing because you need them, right? Yes, I, I, I need I need the picture because is I I need for do my report. You need evidence, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I have a lot of uh, other problems because, for example, I remember the, the last Christmas, I crashed my car. And I, 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 kept, I, I didn't cook, I didn't continue my, my work. Like I told with my uncle, and my uncle gave me his, his car, and then I I couldn't I could repair my could reparar I couldn't repair my car. I could repair. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that, that was a very nice description, Renee. <laughs> yeah. I like the way you explained uh, these situations. Very nice. Okay, nicely, nicely. Okay, I'll give you one more minute, guys, so we can finish and then we start practicing. Creo que alguien dijo teacher. Teacher, yo. 
Hello. I'm sorry, es que la escucho un poquito lejos. Sí, es por la lluvia. Oh, para but I hear you. Tell me. Sí, sí para tal vez me escucha. Yo tengo una idea. Eh, Diga. Se la voy a decir en español primero y luego se la digo en inglés. Tal vez me entiende. Ok, go. Yo perdí un cheque. Lo busqué, pero no lo encontré. Para resolver la situación, hablé al banco, lo bloqueé porque estaba en nombre personal. Uh -huh. Así resolví. Pero no sé. Tengo, tengo las ideas, se las digo. A ver qué tal. Go ahead, go, go, go. Vaya. Este, ajá. Ay, a love, a chat. No, 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 le estoy escuchando, le estoy escuchando. Pedrina, ¿me escucha? ¿Can you hear me? Creo que le, I, I lost her. Okay. I'm going to write to her. Okay, guys. So, in the meantime, mientras ella regresa, is everybody ready? ¿Ya tiene sus notas listas? Did you think about the situation? Do you need more time? Or can we get started? Podemos iniciar. Can we practice? Can we start listening and practice? Yes, Miss. I teach you. All right. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. I hope the rest as well is ready. Okay, so what we are going to do right now is the following. Vamos a practicar solamente la última parte que es tell us about a situation or a problem you have and how you solve it. No vamos a uh, incluir el resto de preguntas por ahorita because I want you to practice simple past tense. Please take notes. Si hay un verbo que no recuerden how to pronounce it, write it down o escríbelo en el chat. And, and, and then los compartimos, especialmente los verbos regulares. So if you have any regular verb, any verb with ed that you don't remember, so we can practice later. Um, just a little reminder. Recordemos que este verbo se pronuncia word. Right? Word. Mm -hmm. Es con una T. So word. I word. Or uh, arrived, for example, arrived. I arrived, I worked. Okay? Entre más lo repitamos, entre más lo practicamos, va a ser más fácil later. So remember, vamos a practicar o a repetir como si fuéramos periquitos ahorita. <laughs> so we are going to repeat as a parrot para que venga fluidez y un poquito más de, de pronunciación as well. So pronunciation and intonation. Voy a estarlos escuchando. You know, I'm going to get to the groups eventually. In the meantime, eh, vamos a unirnos a los grupos. Go there, please. Eh, practice, all right. And uh, un segundo, give me just a second. Listen to your classmates. También tomémoslo como la oportunidad de educar nuestro oído. Listen to your classmates, because that is really important. So, cinco minutos. We got five minutes. Wow, el tiempo va corriendo. Let's go, guys. Five minutes.
everybody and thanks uh, for coming back give me one second my camera is super weird <laughs> okay wait <laughs> i look like a ghost you are a ghost okay no it's better now um i think it's because it's raining here so probably i'm gonna lose some sort of connection guys si ya no me escuchan let me know because i'm gonna move to another spot porque se está lloviendo bastante fuerte no, <laughs> no, no way. De hecho, estoy conectada oh, from my phone. No, Desde el teléfono, así que no. No, that, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Okay, so we were practicing this question, right? I was listening to most of you about tell me about a problem and how you solve it. But guys, the idea is now to get ready for this job interview. Vamos a ir, uh, now we're going to do this pero vamos a hacer solamente en parejas, right? Vamos a ir question, answer, question, answer, como una real job interview, quiero que las preparen. No, no todas estas, not all of them. These are just some ideas. Ustedes nos acaban de dar un par más, you know, like, for example, la número 6, what are your greatest strength? Ya la vimos, pero también está la otra parte, what do you consider to be your weakness? Weakness so es lo opuesto, sus puntos débiles, right? Su debilidad. So, weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So, quiero que escojan cinco preguntitas. I want you to select five questions only, right? Okay. Piensen en qué empresa le gustaría aplicar. Where would you like to work? And again, vamos a ir, ambos practiquen ambos roles. So, del entrevistado, del entrevistador. And then we are going to have some volunteers. Les voy a, um, no, no les voy a decir el orden. I'm not going to give you the order. But I hope we can make it. Give me one second. Los voy a enviar ahorita los grupos. Creo que está viendo un poco más fuerte. Give me some minutes. Solo me voy a cambiar de posición. And I'm going to send you to the groups para que puedan practicar en grupos ya más pequeñitos, right? So, entrevistador and interviewee. There yes. we go. There we go. Get ready, guys. Get ready to practice, please. Yes.
Thanks everybody for coming back. Uh, espero que me logren escuchar. I just hope you could listen to me. Um, I'm having some issues with electricity, pero espero que podamos terminar. <laughs> this is why I'm como un poco black here, but, but hopefully we can make it. So um, I was like listening random here and I'm very happy guys to to hear your improvement, de escucharlos, uh, listen to your participation. That was very nice. And uh, of course, listen to your answers. So, eh, Guadalupe and Moses, voluntariamente, aunque no mucho, <laughs> but let's say that voluntariamente, they uh, would like to, you know, give us a little demo, a little demonstration on how to ask and answer these questions. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can have like more people uh, volunteering, but let's get started with them. So, Guadalupe, you can ask questions, right? And Moses, I think it's good if you answer them. So, okay. creo que no les escribieron, right? No escribieron respuesta, you don't have anything written. No, right? You don't have anything. Okay, okay. perfecto. Así que improvisamos, okay? Ready? The microphone is yours. Hi, Moses. Tell me about your son. Hello, Walid. Okay. Uh, my name is Moses. I am 28 years old. And my experience is a supervisor in the country supermarket, checking that the staff is the people working well. Okay. How did you hear about this position? Okay, I found up uh, about the position to the newspaper and social media. Okay. Uh, why do you want to work at this company? Uh, I want to work in this company because it's the best benefits for employees and they offer a uh, Good salary. Okay. And what? Why should uh, we hear hear you? Okay, they should hire me because I have a lot of, of, of experience in the job, and I can do the uh, job very well. Okay. And what are you going to? My, uh, my strengths are I am punctual, mm -hmm. um, responsible, I don't miss work, and I am disciplined. Okay, Moses, tired. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was beautiful. That was a very nice. Um, uh, interview, you know, very good answers as well. Uh, Moses, discipline. <laughs> there is discipline. Besides, yeah, discipline. Besides that, <laughs> okay, there is discipline. Besides that, very good, very good answers. Um, the questions I think were pretty nice. So, good job. That was very good, very good. Um, so, we have the word strength, right? Fortalezas, strength. That is the one, but nice, nice. Um, already, do I have anybody else? Alguien más quiere ser voluntario, or do I pick? Do I select? Okay, so let me go ahead and choose. So my next is going to be a room number one, la sala número uno. So I have Danny, I have Mr. Bonilla, I have Rene, and I have Clary. So, guys, ¿quién quiere preguntar? Who wants to ask? Uh, yo voy a que, no, Clarice está ahí. Ahí sí, Clarice. Um, Alex, no sé si su hermano ya, ya volvió. Is your brother back? Anthony, no, no le veo el micrófono activado. I don't see his microphone. Hi, Anthony, welcome. Eh, Clary, ¿está por ahí, Clary? 
No, probably not. Creo que algunos la lluvia nos está afectando a little bit. Um, probably she cannot listen to us. Okay, so, so it's okay, perfect. I got Rene. So necesito a alguien que responda las preguntas. I need a person to be the interviewee. So, volunteers. ¿Alguien quiere ser voluntario? Voluntario. Uh, voluntario víctima. <laughs> Let me go with um, Eduardo. No lo he escuchado, Eduardo. Eduardo está por ahí. Eduardo. No. No yet. Nelson. No he escuchado mucho a Nelson either. Hi, teacher. There you go. Perfect. So, Nelson, are you ready? Nos ayuda con las respuestas. Can you help us with the answers? Este, me acabo de volver a entrar porque la lluvia me sacó. Bueno, es el internet Ooh. por la lluvia. I know, I know. La verdad es que sí está como un poco fuerte en algunas zonas. Pero, ¿practicó las preguntas? Did you practice the questions? En eso Let's... estaba cuando me sacó lo de la, la lluvia. Okay, or, or do you feel ready? ¿Se siente listo para improvisar un poquito? Do you feel ready? ¿O para mañana? I uh, know. <laughs> or for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, guys, let's do that. Not, it's okay. I'm not ready. Okay, not a problem. It's okay. Yeah. So, 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 we are going to ask you the questions tomorrow. That's perfect. Pero veo a Karina. So, perfect, Karina. Amazing. So, um, Rene, you are going to be the interviewer. And you're going to ask some questions to Karina. I think that's all right. So, Rene, cuando esté listo, whenever you're ready. Creo que perdimos a Rene. <laughs> I think we lost Rene. <laughs> Okay, no, but it's okay. It's okay. I can ask okay. you the questions. I can yes. ask you some questions. Oh, please, Dennis, go ahead. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so, let me tell me. Hi, Karina. Hi. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Karina Villera. I am 28 years old. I studied international business. And I have uh, been four years to experience in pusher department and import department. And I consider myself uh, respectfully uh, honest, and I would like to work in a team. What can you bring to the company? Bring. Bring. Well, I, I have a, a knowledge about the position and I would like to improve and to help all the team that this position. Okay. Um, what do you consider to be your weakness? My weakness? Yeah. Well, in some cases, I feel a little bit nervous before to know uh, people, but I try to to think uh, I am can't, and I I try to to talk uh, with them, and and all the time I I will better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that was nice. I love your answers. Hey, so, Daniel. like, Daniel. you explain them, Ignacio? Hey, Ignacio? Sorry, but Karina speaks so good. English. She's ready for an interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that was a very nice description. Uh, yes. You got the question and you try to answer them the, the best way you could. Me gustó mucho la respuesta de what are your weaknesses? Because that sounds like really 
well prepared, you know. Very cool. I'm super excited, you know, to hear um, um, the first time you get your job interview <laughs> in English, especially. So thank you guys. Very good. Nelson, quedamos pendientes para mañana. No se preocupe, no worries. We are definitely good. I know that okay. internet is killing us today, but let's try to finish it up. Uh, guys, voy a pasar asistencia. Eh, si me ayudan un momentito, please, with your eh, camera. That would be nice. And let me just call out your names. Mm -hmm. One second. Give me just a second here. Yeah. Escuché la burbuja. <laughs> so Ignacio, I'm just wondering. Ignacio. Oh. Is pet's, your pet's name a pet's burbuja? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> wow. Solo me recuerdo de las tres hermanas, creo que eran. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Bur burbuja. Uh -huh. I don't remember the others. I just remember burbuja. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's a very nice name. Okay, let me just go. Eh, Anita, te veo por acá, Ana, regáleme confirmación, please. Hello, present teacher. Thank you so much. Brian, creo que no vi a Brian. I couldn't hear him. Okay. Danny Anthony, veo Anthony, but his audio is out. Eh, Danny. Thank you so much. Eh, Jackie, well, Jackie, si le escuché hace unos minutitos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gracias, Miss. Happy to hear you. And happy to see you. <laughs> Ignacio. Present, teacher. Gracias, Ignacio. Let me see. Nelson, solo me regala confirmación. Nelson, por favor. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, I'm missing only Brian here. Okay, amazing. So everybody, I let you go. Solamente les Present. pido. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, no les menciono los demás porque ya tenía su asistencia. So I'm okay with that. Look, eh, solo una cosita. Eh, Karina, muchas gracias por avanzar con la plataforma. Vi por ahí que ya me avanzó bastante, you know. So thank you so much for that. Eh, chicos, les pido que para el día eh, jueves, de ser posible mañana jueves, Eh, terminamos la unidad 1, right? So, on Thursday, les voy a estar escribiendo algunos eh, por si hay alguna actividad que esté pendiente. El ejercicio número 2 les va a dar un poquito de dificultad. El, el de, la, la, sí, es la tarea 2, ejercicio 4, exactly, yes. number 4. Solo exactly. un trick que vimos el día de ayer con Guadalupe. Cambian la palabra staff por la palabra employee. Voy a pedir que los compañeros nos ayuden luego con con la parte de gramática, pero eh, hagamos eso, no pongan staff, sino pongan la palabra employee, y eso lo solventa, you know, that will okay. work, y si no, cualquier cosa, let me know, pero okay. ya lo estoy escalando, right, so nos vemos el día de mañana, have a beautiful night, que descansen súper bien, y Danis, eh, me regalo un par de minutitos, porfa, yes. give me just some minutes, thank you so much, bye everybody, have a good night, Good night. Bye, night. See you. Bye. See you. See you. Have a good night. Wait. Wait. My camera makes me look like a ghost. <laughs> okay. I guess it's because of, of the light. Me. The light. I mean, uh, no. It went no. out. No, pero tengo batería todavía. Sí, no. Got oh, some okay. battery. Mm -hmm. Dame unos segunditos, solo voy a limpiar acá. ¿Quién está? Ya, qué raro. Me veo como que estoy like, like a ghost. Why? The, the ghost, the ghost. Like a ghost. Give me one second, solo voy a cambiar el fondo. Yes. No, ahí está. No, <laughs> it sounds like very strange. Uh -huh. It looks like very strange. So uh, I'm very like happy and very excited that we are having the session one on one. Especialmente porque el módulo anterior, uh, we couldn't have you, pero me alegra enormemente que esté de regreso. And as I told you, los compañeros también estaban preguntando de usted, right? They were asking yeah. Yeah. about you. So how do you feel? ¿Cómo, cómo se siente? How do you feel so far? Um, how do you think your practice ha mejorado? Is your vocabulary getting better? 
¿Hay algún área que todavía necesita trabajar con la que le pueda ayudar? Uh, no, es 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 práctico de 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 Yeah, it's only yeah. a matter of practice the vocabulary. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. So, um, what do you think is what you need right now? More fluency, more vocabulary, more, vocabulary. more listening? No, uh, um, right now is uh, you said the better for your lingua. Okay. It's, uh, the work day and day for for the exercise. The, okay. This. And you are uh, repeating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So um, I think yeah, probably what we need is only more uh, more practice para que el vocabulario vaya saliendo como más fácilmente, right? Mm -hmm. So let's practice. Creo que tenemos a couple of minutes and we can take this time. Sí, tenemos seis minutos. Yeah. So yeah. I can hear you. Okay. So tell me, uh, I'm going to ask you this question. <laughs> tell me about yourself. Cuéntame yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, uh, I am uh, the industrial engineer. The, right now, I work for the plastic. My experience the uh, worker in the material, the, the raw material. Recycling, recycling, recycling. Uh, I work with the different areas. For example, the the, the super chain, super chain, or production planning, people export, the, the different areas. Okay. Uh, tell, tell me about your obligations. What are you uh, like two? Tell me two obligations that you have. Obligation? Okay. Uh, the, the, starting, the starting day is checking the KPIs for calls, calls the different product, uh, checking the cell. Oh, very interesting. So yeah, you check yeah. sales too. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. good. National. Uh, Hello. Is Seoul national? Okay. International. Both. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Not I both. see. Both. So now uh, tell me a little bit about the activities that you do in your free time. So what do you do when you are not working? Creo que se me está cortando. Me logra escuchar. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, me logra escuchar. Can you hear me? No sé si es mi, my internet, but it's breaking a little bit. No signal, Miss. Come back. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, el, yes. yo creo que la mía también. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I think no, but I think mine as well. Ah, creo okay. que la mía también, because I was like, se me quedó no, frozen. Uh, uh, so. Uh, I, I sent the. Uh, uh, the soil national international uh, okay okay yes. now I, I was i was asking you a little bit about the uh, your free time activities so what do you do in your free time oh uh, in, in my free time the, the first is child child time by my daughter 
Okay. My daughter and my family. After normally what normally what type of activities do you do with your daughter? Rainy, do you play rainy, uh -huh. rainy play soccer? Okay. Um go to the beach. Oh nice. Yeah, yes. I remember. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember your the favorite all, place is the beach. Okay. Or we can or we can go to the beach. What is your favorite beach? My favorite beach is uh Sonte Beach. Why? Why do you like it? It's uh calm, calm, no, no it's dangerous. Oh okay. Yeah. So that, that is after a tummy, right? What? The, the the beach is after a tummy. So you go yes. past a tummy. Oh uh, uh, or no. Yes. Yeah, right? No, 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 no. No. Where is El Sonte? Sonte after the Palmarcito. Oh, okay. So uh -huh. after Palmarcito. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have a tummy, el palmarcito, and then el sonte. No, palmarcito, um, sonte, okay. a tummy. The, oh. the, so, yes. está yeah. antes, it is before. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. so I was wrong. Yeah. Oh, so I was wrong. Pensé que estaba después. Oh, okay, yeah. very cool. But you said that yeah. the place is not dangerous and it's very calm. So that sounds yeah. like a very nice thing. Okay, okay, cool. So are you are you going? Are you going to the beach this weekend? Yes. Yes. Oh, so you seriously do it every weekend? Every, every <laughs> okay. Weekend. Every weekend. Oh, okay. Um Monday play soccer in the Capetalo. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have a team or with your daughter? Uh, a team. Okay. Okay. A team. From your company. My, no, my um, friend the different place. Oh, okay. 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 Now well, that's nice. That's really cool. That, All right. right. The city, Zaragoza. Oh, nice. So that's really place. good. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Good because you see other people, not the regular people you see every day. So oh. that's very nice. Uh huh. Yes. Cool. All right. Okay. So Danny, I think that's good. I think your listening is quite good. Your vocabulary is fine. Exactly. Yeah. Solo necesitamos práctica, you know, para para no pensarlo mucho, right? Para yes. que sea un poco más más eh, automático, okay. digamos. Okay. Uh -huh. More, uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Pero talking about fluency, you got the it. Fluency. Pronunciation, you got it. I think we're doing a very good job. Así que solamente, si le escucho más vocabulario, I hear, eh, escucho que ha mejorado bastante con grammar, so your grammar yeah. is getting better, so nice, nice work yeah. on that, yeah. solamente, you know, sigamos le metiendo a la speaking practice, right? Yeah. So you, you can definitely do it, all right. Gracias por su tiempo, thank you so much for no. your time. Thank I you. let you go so you can sleep well and see you tomorrow. Uh, until tomorrow. Bye-bye. ¿Se puede, se puede decir until tomorrow? What? See you. Until you? Until tomorrow. Mm, sí. Y no. <laughs> sí, okay. sí, pero, right. pero como es un, como es un, uh, un farewell, como es una despedida, uh, uh, uh -huh. yes, that yes. would be, yeah, see you tomorrow. yeah, that would be, yeah, see uh, you tomorrow. Uh -huh. That would be okay. much better. Okay, so, so long, bye-bye.